Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. So in today's tutorial, we are going to be making these medals and with the little ribbons that go on them. So you can make these in any colors you want. Um, just have them match in whatever your country is. And um, if it's, you could also do it just as your favorite team colors. And um, this is how we are going to do this. We're going to make this first. And then we're going to make this right here ribbon next. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this fun project. Okay, so depending on the color of metal that you want, you can find something that would, like a bronzy type color that would represent the bronze metal. You can get some gold yarn to represent the gold metal. And you can get some gray yarn, some light gray, to represent the silver metal. You can do this in any ribbon color that you want. The one that I'm going to do for this tutorial is going to be the red, white, and blue ribbon. But you can have it uh, like solid blue, solid red, the solid purple, all those different colors. And you can have your metal whatever color you want. Um, I was just showing you the three options that um, I have used for this tutorial for, my, for the pictures. Let's go ahead um, and see what types of supplies we are going to need. I'm using an H hook, a 5.0 millimeter hook for this. You'll need a pair of scissors, stitch marker, and a yarn needle. So let's, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. Okay, I guess... Let's go ahead. We are going to go ahead and start with our metal. So for today's tutorial, I am going to do the light gray for the silver metal. And what you need to do is uh, create a magic ring. Just like that. Okay, we are going to work six single crochets in this ring. One, and if you want, so you'll know where that beginning stitch is, you can put a stitch marker in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I would try to keep this row um, as sort of loose, like when you go to pull this to tighten, um, I would leave it a little loose. That way it doesn't uh, bulge out like this in the middle once you get your other rounds on it. Okay, so now we are going to remove our stitch marker Place our hook in the same stitch. We remove the stitch marker. Pull our yarn through and pull it through our uh, yarn that was on our hook. Okay, so now you have made a circle. You have six, you should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you're going to chain one. Now, if you want, um, you can crochet this in as you go along, which is what I'm going to do. We are going to make two single crochets in every stitch around. Okay, so I'm going to start with the in that same stitch, and I'm going to take my yarn that's behind me and try to catch it with my hook. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just weave it in at the end. I like to crochet it along. Okay, so that was one, and we need one more in that same stitch. That is two, three, 
and four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can tell, I'm crocheting this in. See, it's not back there anymore. I'm crocheting in as I go. Now I lost count. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. That's round two. Now we're going to slip stitch in our beginning stitch over here. Do like we did before. We're going to chain one and um, going to fast, uh, go ahead and fasten that off in the back. So for row three, we are going to work two single crochets in the same stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do that all the way around, and we will have 18 single crochets. Okay, so we have two. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in that first stitch right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one. And then two in the same stitch. One. And then two in the next stitch. One. And then two in the next stitch. Then one. And then two in the next. And then one single crochet in the next, two single crochet in the next. And then we're going to end with one single crochet in the last stitch. Now that was row three. We are going to slip stitch in that same stitch we took the stitch marker out, our beginning stitch, chain one. For row four, we are going to work two single crochet in the same stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches, and we're going to do this all the way around. So once again, two single crochets in the first stitch, and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in that first stitch there. Now one single crochet in the next two stitches, that's one, Two, two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. And you're going to repeat that around all the way to the end. Okay, we're going to end with one single crochet in the last two stitches. You have 24 single crochets. Now let's remove our stitch marker. We're going to slip stitch in that same stitch. Grab our yarn, pull through, pull through our stitch, chain one. Now for row five, we're going to work two single crochets in the same stitch, one single crochet in the next three. One single crochet, I mean two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next three. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and we should have 30 single crochets. So let's go ahead and put our two single crochets in the same first stitch. Put our stitch marker in that first stitch. And one single crochet in the next three. That's one, two, three. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next three. That's one, two, three. Now you're going to repeat that all the way around till you get to the last stitch. Okay, here's our one single crochet in the last stitch. Now we are going to 
slip stitch, remove our stitch marker, slip stitch into that first stitch. Grab your yarn, pull through, chain one. Okay. And so now we're going to work one single crochet in the next 28 stitches. We're going to leave open two stitches at the end. So one stitch in the next 28, one single crochet in the next 28 stitches. Just like that. And I will meet you at the end, but right here. All right, so we have two stitches left. We are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we are going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch. Just like that. And so it will look like this. Now go ahead and fasten off. Thread your yarn needle. and weave in your yarn. There we go. Go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this to the side and we're going to make the ribbon now. Whatever color you want on the outside of the ribbon. Okay. So if you're making a ribbon with two colors or three colors, um, what you need to do is the color that you want on the outside is the color that you need to use last. If you want, you can make a slip knot. Like this. And you need to chain 101. And depending on the different body styles, you may need more than 101. Um, I would chain 101 and then kind of on your neck to kind of see where it falls on you. Um, so you could do less if it's for a child. Uh, you could do more um, if it's for a taller person with a longer torso. Um, so you can always chain. You can always change how much you chain. But uh, when you get to the 101, I would at least put it around your neck to kind of see where, like the where the metal would probably fall. Now that you've got your 101, we are going to single crochet in the uh, second chain from the hook. This is your first chain from the hook. This will be your second chain from the hook. Just like that. And then we're going to single crochet in each chain across. Just like that. At the end, you should have 100 single crochets. Let's do your single crochet. And you can go ahead and fasten off. And we are changing. We are changing to the white yarn. And then we need to, I like to pull my yarn down to kind of tighten it. Pull my yarn down to tighten it and now I'm going to crochet these in sometimes you can take and tie those in a little knot if you want but I'm going to crochet those in so I'm grabbing those two right there and I'm single crocheting in that first stitch 
like that. And I'm going to single crochet these ends here. So single crochet in each stitch across just like that. Like I said, if that's too hard for you to grab the two yarns, you can always just um, weave them in later. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, I will meet you when you get to the end of this blue right here. Okay, go ahead and single crochet in that last stitch. You can fasten off your yarn. And let's go ahead and switch to our third color. And for, in my situation, it is red. And you can have these for whatever country you want, whatever sport you're in. Let's chain one. Grab those two yarns under my hook, and go into that first single crochet. I take my fingers and I hold those two down, keep them from moving. I work a single crochet. And a single crochet in every stitch to the end. And I like to pull these to make sure they're tight here on the end. Okay, and you can weave those in if you want, or you can crochet them in as I'm doing. Okay, I will see you when we get to the end right here. Okay, we're on our last stitch. Go ahead and make a single crochet in that stitch. We're going to fasten off our yarn. I like to leave a little bit of a tail to sew it in to sew it together rather. Okay, and um, I already have a little bit of blue on there. So let's go ahead and remove our yarn. And um, what we need to do on this is we need to make sure the red is on the outside as we curve, curl this around. Make sure you have it straight, but keep the red or your third color, because it depends on, like I said, what's, um, what your team colors are, what um, your country is that you're doing this. There we go, that's better. So we just need to make sure you have this straight, like this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have that little opening, the chain space. We're going to put our top one in here, I'm going to pull it through, just like that. Make sure you get your ends through, your strands rather. And we're going to take that other end, just like this. And we are going to attach them so that it will look like that. So we're going to attach these two. You see how I did that? I pulled that through and we're keeping the red keeping our third color on the outside I'll lift that up so you can see it and you're just attaching like this okay so you need to thread your yarn needle And we're just going to attach it together. Right across. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and weave in my yarn.
just like that. And I'm going to weave it back through. I like to make sure it's nice and not puckered. All right, I'm going to fasten it off. And we're going to do the blue too. I just want to see how it's laying. Make sure it's all laying right. Okay, so now we're going to take the blue, our beginning yarn here, and we are going to weave it in as well. And I think I'm just going to go through the blue and back down. Fasten it off, just like that, and you turn it over. Now you have a metal. Now you have a metal, just like that. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.